Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is the larger book. Number 618, 618, all that we have. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart both frightened and free. Take what we bring now and give what we need. All done in his name. Some would rely on their power. Others put trust in their gold. Some have only their Savior, whose faithfulness never grows old. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart both frightened and free. Take what we bring now and give what we need. All done in his name. Sometimes the road may be lonesome. Often we may lose our way. Take courage and always remember. Love isn't just for one day. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart both frightened and free. Take what we bring now and give what we need. All done in his name. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, on the feast of St. Andrew Kim and his companions, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Pam Delot and Sam Gatto. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew, Kim, and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ezra. In the first year of King Cyrus of Persia, in order that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be accomplished, the Lord stirred up the spirit of King Cyrus of Persia so that he sent a herald throughout all his kingdom and also in a written edict declared, thus says King Cyrus of Persia, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem in Judah. Any of those among you who are of his people, may their God be with them, are now permitted to go up to Jerusalem and Judah and rebuild the house of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let all survivors in whatever place they reside be assisted by the people of their place with silver and gold, with goods and with animals, besides free will offerings for the house of God in Jerusalem. The heads of the families of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests and the Levites, everyone whose spirit God has stirred, got ready to go up and rebuild the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All their neighbors aided them with silver vessels, with gold, with goods, with animals and with valuable gifts, besides all that was freely offered. The word of the Lord. The Lord has done great things for us. The Lord has done great things for us. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. 
The Lord has done great things for us. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. The Lord has done great things for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses in the desert of the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. The Lord has done great things for us. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before all, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the people, No one after lighting a lamp hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on the lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen, for to those who have, more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. In the passage from Ezra, we see that King Cyrus has been touched by God to remind the people of their importance to worship him, especially as they rebuild the temple in the center of the community, which is Jerusalem. It is so important for us to understand the importance for each of us on an individual basis to continue to worship God with regular mass attendance on Saturday and Sunday and also through daily prayer, that nothing can replace worship of God. We have been created to do just that, and it is our responsibility for, indeed, the psalm reminds us, the Lord has done great things for us. Each and every day, God gives us so many gifts, and so it is important for us to give him the thanks and praise that is his due. And then, after we give God his praise. We are to use the gifts and talents he's given us to be the light of Christ for the world. And as Jesus says, we never put a candle or a light under a bushel basket. That would be ridiculous. Rather, we let the light shine. May our light shine, Lord, in love of you, so that we can continue to follow in your footsteps and bring hope to the world. Let us humbly offer our prayers and petitions to God, our loving Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church. May the Holy Spirit bring forth and all the baptized a sustained commitment to the vocation of holiness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God bless their work in protecting the sanctity of human life at all stages, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our nation that today, election day, that we may pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help us who is the candidate that we are to vote for and that the new leadership of our great nation will be inspired by the teachings of Jesus and lead from biblical and moral codes, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the poor and the rejected. May the Lord bring them refuge and hope, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for students in this community of faith, that the Holy Spirit may increase in them the gifts of wisdom and understanding during this academic year, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Pam and Sam, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, that God may welcome them into his eternal banquet, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer and for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Gracious Lord, we ask that you accept our petitions and answer them according to your most holy will. Through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Pam and Sam, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Andrew Kim, St. Paul, and his companions, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the, Fa who by the, will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, we may celebrate the blessed martyrs. We humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all people. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our blessed mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, the morning Mass will not take place. It is reserved only for the Blessed Trinity community. Tomorrow, the parish Mass, as we celebrate the Apostle St. Matthew, will be at 6.30 p.m. Thank you. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart both frightened and free. Take what we bring now and give what we need. All done in his name. Sometimes when troubles are many, life can seem empty, it's true. But look at the life of the master who lovingly suffered for you. All that we have and all that we offer comes from a heart both frightened and free. Take what we bring now and give what we need. All done in his name. All done in his name. God bless you. Have a good day.